So this is Hector the Badger Carnage episode 1. We negotiate with with terrorists. Um, I've just realised that I'm still on the face cam. And the game isn't working. There we go. Come on, come on, where are you? Oh my god. Sorry! Good lord, not another one. Who was it this time? Whittingsworth? Boggins, sir. Blast! Well, not, not your figure of speech. Idiots! You're trying my patience. Let me speak to someone who can get things done. Someone who will speak to me politely and will treat me with respect. The next voice I hear had better be courteous and pleasant or I'd kill every last one of you stinking coppers. Sir, if you will, I would suggest Detective Inspector Hector. His people skills are ideal <coughs> to ensure this situation be settled amicably. Hector? The obnoxious, troublemaking alcoholic? I'm sure he'd consider it a pleasure, sir. Lambert! Oh, don't make me go out there, sir. I told Philomena I'd make it home by six tonight, alive. <laughs> We need Hector. Where is he? Oh, right, sir. Uh, he's some. Um, well, he's likely off solving one of the many violent and atrocious murders Clappers Rick is so famous for. Totally. Well, he's your partner. Find him and bring him down here to deal with this shamble swiftly. Hector, sir? You sure? Yes, for God's sake. Get me desk. Get me Hector. Point and click game. Um, wait for Hector to wake up. What the hell happened last night? Last I remember was doing the conga with a nun. Or was it go? No fat bird lying next to me this time. Good sign. Bit breezy in here. Oh, bleed now. Where'd me kex go? Kex mean trousers. I know the game controls, but thank oh, you. Dame Helen, you'll always be the only one for me. Okay. So that's where the last guy went. No way I can fit through there, but I do see something shiny. What did I get? A spoon. Now all I need is some cake. Oh, that phone guaranteed some idiots on the other end. Sometimes reading helps me sleep. Usually alcohol, but <laughs> sometimes reading. Right, so I now have a spoon. I've got a whiskey bottle. Not much left. I suppose I could carry it around and inhale the fumes all day. This is where I keep my toothbrush. Yeah, just in the cell. There's something in there. Mm. Oh, I need something to pry it off with. Almost busted a nail. Oh, man. Okay, let's try the spoon. That's done it. <laughs> Evil is a foot. <laughs> he just got a foot. What? Oh. Doesn't work. Oh, that sucks. Um. Right, toilet water? Why would I want to carry around a bottle of piss? Oh, oh I guess you got a point. Oh, okay, peeing. I'm just peeing now. There's a paper clip down there. Could do as a makeshift look pick if it wasn't covered in human waste. Let's use the foot with the toilet. Nah, can't be arsed. That didn't work. Oh, there's no sink in here. That's Ratty's area of the room. Ratty's my flatmate. Right. Brushing with beer gives my teeth that special spark. Lovely. Hmm. Soup. 
bleeding perb. Some half wit comedians locked me in. Oh, I wish someone had shut that phone up. Oh, mattress. Let's see if it. Well, that condom's huge. Uh, of course it is. It's mine. Right. Oh. Let's try using that with the toilet. Hmm, could work as a net. So. What do I need to do? Try combining. All those these. things together. Now you're just. There's a paper clip down. Hmm. Hmm, could work as a net. Oh, so I need to get something to stick it onto. Oh, my toothbrush. What are you? No. The remains of... A classic. Police brutality for dummies. Lovely. Mm. My favourite articles from the Daily Depress. <laughs> Huh. I can't come. There's got to be something I can use. Our trousers are. Your trousers are out there somewhere. Get okay, hints. Meh. What did I say? Viewing hints may be hazardous to your health, and so is being stuck in a cell with a pile of rat droppings. Excellent. Nothing else. Could be something. Ready doesn't like it. Oh. Ah. I could use this lace to hang myself. How oh, lovely. The only thing this net will catch is gonorrhea. Let's go fishing! Let's never speak of this again. Right, let's examine the paper clip, turn it into a lockpick. If you squint, it looks a little like a key. Come! There we go. That did it. That way leads to reception. Go there then. Ah, maybe happy hour's been brought forward. Speak. Oh, oh, thank goodness, boss. I've been trying to reach you for ages. We've got a situation down at Nun's Itch. Some psycho's gone hostile on us. He's already topped 11 of our best negotiators. Oh, Christ, another bleeding nut job. It's not that Judith Fisher again, is it? I already told her domestic disputes do not always need to be settled with a sniper rifle. Hmm. No, no, it's not her. Oh, just get the car and get over here now yeah, before this gets out of hand. Oh, my God, we've just lost another one. Oh, I guess my mid-morning nap will have to wait. Right. Step one, car. No. Wait. Step one, trousers. Help! Someone! Ha! Pedo's escaped from the cells! Yeah! Pedo! Pedo! Shut it, runt. I'm a bleeding detective inspector. I hate pigs. I liked you better when you was a pedo. Lovely. Ah, F the policeman. Oh, I don't have time for this. It's strangely oxymoronic. <laughs> so I just filled the whiskey with coffee there. That coffee's been on slow boil since I joined the force. Now serving 635. Must be a slow morning. Looks like he's blitzed on energy drinks already. Never sleep again. That's where they keep the keys. Let's go to the key locker. It's a key locker, and the keys are inside. What a paradox. Let's try... What are you, an idiot? Ah, I guess I'm an idiot. I'm not going out there without trousers. It didn't end well last time. Is this what passes for a criminal these days? Yeesh. 
Are you what passes for a cop these days? Yeesh! Right then. Let's talk to the street youth. Police, I need to commandeer your trousers. Police, I'll need to commandeer your trousers. <laughs> are you are you a pedo or something, mate? Oh, perhaps I'll need to work on my own, man. Hey, run. What are you doing here? I stole something. You got me, bruv. Charge me so I can clear off. No, I mean, what are you doing here when everyone else has pissed off? Look, if I go home without getting charged, I'll be dissed off by my crew, yeah? We give out asbos like complimentary mints round here, mate. You want real respect? Oh yeah, bruv? You got something better? How about indecent exposure? Oh yeah, indecent exposure, right? In the X, they call me. Nice tag. What do I have to do? Nothing. I just need some evidence from you to stick in any old unsolved case file. What kind of evidence? Your trousers. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Conviction should be airtight. My mum's sold my name into them. Oi! You're disrespecting my friends! Not a bad fit, ignoring the smell of urine. <laughs> Get back here with my trousers, them's mine! Let that be a life lesson to you, you little crud. You want a free ride? Join the police. Yeah. That way, leave. Go out. Oh, the smell of clappers reek. Oh wait, there's a dead cat in the gutter. Hey, sugar, got the time? Sorry, darling, there's hostage crisis underway. No time for a quickie. A quickie? I was actually asking about the time. Oh, uh, it's uh, ten thirty, I think. Thanks, fat boy. Now, how about a quickie? Oh. I'm not sure exactly what country Sloppy Chief is from, but does it really matter in her line of work? <coughs> I need to work on my pronunciation. It's locked. They keep. Oh, lucky me. They left me with the clap heap. Probably on her way to the craft market or to visit a dying friend. <laughs> Back off, sex pest! I mean it! Crazy old bat. Psycho. Sicko. It's Trampy Tim. How's life on the street, you smelly deadbeat loafer? Hey, well, I want the best of bars and fuck copper that you guess drink or something, you know? Sorry, mate. I drank all my reserves at last night's party for one. Drink! I want a drink! Guess a drink! Your pain is my pain. He wants a drink. Here you go, pal. Just what you need. What was that liquid? What a strange sensation. I've always wondered what it would feel like to be sober. I was sober once, for about three hours. Never again. I'll turn my life around. Why? I might even get a job. One step at a time, mate. A thousand thank yous, Hector. You're a true saint. So long, old friend. Ah, piss off. I liked him better before. Dope. Uh, no one.
right, so I get some mouthwash. A higher alcohol content than wine coolers. This could be my new favourite tipple. I don't know why they call this stuff mouthwash. I use it everywhere. <laughs> For that milky smell. Ain't nothing that can't be fixed with a crowbar. Or a cherry bake wheel. Right next to the station, some bottle. I don't do burglaries, that's Russell's department. I'll pass it on. <laughs> nothing back there, but... Actually, I don't know what's back there. Hmm. Right, so I've got a crowbar and some mouthwash. Yeah, let's get the key lock open. Who needs keys when you've got a crowbar? Ha! Keys! Exactly what I need. Got the keys. Go out. Clappers Reek, the town that took the great out of Britain. Well, let's shoot the crow. I should have known it wouldn't be that easy. Maybe I should take a gander under the bonnet, see what the damage is. Let's see what sort of half assed repair job it will take to get this rust box mobile. Huh, I think the battery's dead. And it needs a fan belt. There's tricks, ladies. Slow today, I can't imagine why. Oh, cripes, I can. That breath could knock a pigeon off a wheelie bin at 200 yards. Listen if you're not buying. Piss off. I'll smell you later. Let me know if there's anything else I can do for you, sugar. Lovely. Anything at all. You're still short on customers. Maybe this'll help. You're gonna spit or swallow that. Oh. That girl. <laughs> Wanna tag along? I'm sure I can find something better to do. Well, guess it's just you and me now, slob Jeff. Yes, Tim, should she sleep on the Not after what happened last time, love. I'm surprised this didn't snap under the strain of her thighs. I would have. <laughs> this might work. Worked. Now all I need to do is charge the battery. Nice undies. Julia. Nice trousers, thief boy. I fear I may have lost his trust. I fear I may have lost his trust. Hmm. Let's charge the battery. Now this woman has a taser. Do you know anything about fixing cars? Oh, I'll fix you, you grubby sex maniac! I think I think crash drums on again. Here we go. Right, so I'd um <sighs> Thanks for nothing. There's a good lad. What is keeping that bus? 
Right, let's go back to the stage. Attention grabbing loon. Lady Lyric Cherry File! So I don't know when it went down. So, so far I've given mouthwash to the prostitute who's got a client stolen her garter as a fan belt to fix the car. Now I'm trying to charge the battery. I fear I may have lost his trust. How do I get back his trust? That hallway leads back to my cell. Uh. <clears throat> I need to work. Right. I know that I need to... Look, I swear... It's the old bill I'm worried about. Nothing but a bunch of lady botherers. I can assure you that we do not engage in that kind of activity regularly. <laughs> Don't come any closer, you pervy punts. Lovely. Do you know anything about fixing cars? We'll not fix you, you grubby sex maniac. Could I see that taser again? The only bit of this taser you'll ever see is the dangerous end, sex pest. You don't happen to have a set of jump cables, Andy, do you? You're not jumping me, twitchy britches. I'm simply trying to fix my vehicle. You molesters always say that. These parts aren't safe for an attractive lady like me. Hmm. Ah, oh, forget it. You probably can't even work your TV remote. Thanks for nothing. There's a good lad. What is keeping that bus? Back off, sex pest! I mean it! Crazy old bat. That job. You wish. Hmm. Oh, hang up. What now, yeah? Hey, what are you doing? Piss off, crud. Go home. I told you, man. I want my asbo. Sorry, punk. Loophole in the justice system. I have no option. What loophole? The loophole where all our staff are ponced off and I'm not a babysitter. Now beat it. I ain't going nowhere till I get charged with something. Out. No way, mate. I'm staying until you implicate me in a crime. Oh. Listen, I've got nothing for you at the minute, but if I can use you, I'll let you know. But I can live with that. You're in my infantry now. If I call you, you'd better come running. Yeah, whatever. Alright, I've got the youth in my inventory now. Oh, you stop. Troll for all these LED. LED's been on my desk. I don't know where it went. Oh well. Okay, let's try using the youth on the crazy old lady. You say it's best with crazy old lady. How'd you like to upgrade your indecent exposure charge to a sexual misconduct? Yeah, bro. Anything with like SEX it. in it has got to be good for my rep. What do I have to do? See that lady behind you? Sex pest! Sex pest! Right, now I've got an electrified loop youth. Oh, well, well. It looks like this could be. Finally, good job. Sorry, I don't know what come over me. Right, 
right there. The station is that nut job. You wish. Right, let's use the electrified sex pest with the car. Hey, Twitchy! Want to learn how to boost a car? That should have her running. Definitely a her. Only a female could make my life this miserable. Soldier crime doesn't pay, kid. Except maybe armed robbery, if you're quick. See ya, Tossers. Actually, quicker to walk. Keeping Hector, that terrorist fellow is growing exceedingly restless. I've never met a chap so hell-bent on causing such a fracker. Fracker? Oh, cracking shot, though. We really could use someone like him on the force. Goodness, you're here, boss. Let me bring you up to speed. <laughs> I also just realised that their SWAT team is called Tactical Weapons and Tactics. Drives efficiency, efficiency drives ambition, and ambition drives pride. 
get the town pump ticking again, shining above its citizens as a steadfast reminder of industry and social order. I don't know anything about clocks. My second demand, pornography. Oh, hold on, I think I've got some in my car. Pornography is eroding the moral fiber of society. Its omnipresence pervades our televisions, our computers, our mobile phones. We're saturated by it. An example must be made. I want the hub of the Clappers Creek porn industry shut down. You tell me. Yes, the Exotico. You monster! Damn you, Swell! My third demand. Besides myself, I can think of only one man trying to do good for this community. Oh, stop, please. You're embarrassing me. There's a dedicated and optimistic fellow running an independent information booth in front of Cottage Park. He has repeatedly taken a brilliant beautification plan to town council for funding and has been repeatedly denied. Speak to the man, find out what he needs, then get it for him. Ah, oh, there's me pen. What were you saying? Hmm. Those are my demands. Come back when you've completed them. I have nothing more to say. Well, I'll got something to say to you, but pub. <laughs> Still breathing anyway. So where am I supposed to be going again? Ah, oh, a map that should help. A map just appeared underneath my cam there. Start with the park. Seems to be number one. Who cares about Clapper's Reek? I do! And you do too! Apparently I care about Clapper's Reek. Your donation could make all the difference. Who's he talking to? Sir! Yes, you there, sir! Welcome! Haven't seen you around these parts before. My visits usually occur at night with a forensics team. Ah, so you're a local then? <laughs> as much as I like to admit it. Spare some change to save Clapper's reek? No thanks, Chugger. I've already spent the whole day trying to save Clapper's reek. Me too, fellow citizen. Have a great day. Are you having a great day? Hi there. I've got a little something for you. What, me? Yes, you sir. Come on over. <laughs> Who cares? What's this? Don't tell me you've never seen one of these around town. It's a Who Cares badge. Everyone's wearing them. It's not exactly inspirational, but strangely appropriate. Who cares about Clapper's Reek? You do. Wear it with pride. Have you got any bugger off badges? Fresh out. That leads into the park. Have a chat with him. All right, bucket beggar, what are you out to eradicate? Children with flies on their faces. Ah, no, but a noble cause all the same. Think globally, act locally, I say. No, you're looking at the founding member of the Clappers Reek Preservation Society. A society? I thought we just had gangs. You could call us a gang. A gang that puts a smile on the face of adversity. Kinda like putting glitter on a turd. We consider that as our slogan. Where exactly are my donations going besides your bucket? I have a plan to tidy this town from the inside out. Oh, like some sort of municipal enema? Exactly! Would you like to hear about it?
I'd rather drink my own urine. Some other time then. I didn't bother talking to anybody before I left. I should probably actually do that. Why the hell am I here? Ah, Hector. Yeah, I do hope you don't mind being fooled off your current case. No worries. I polished off the last bottle of my current case last night, in fact. Jolly good, then. Dealing with people isn't really my thing. I know this isn't your usual cup of tea, but the situation called for your particular brand of problem-solving. Besides, all the other hostage negotiators are uh, dead. Leave this to me. I'll kick over this mug's tea party. Well, it might be good to hear. I have a cribbage game tonight, and I'm loath to forfeit because of some trifling little brouhaha like this. Godspeed. I like the word brouhaha. How's that tea coming along? I have two top men working on it as we speak. Oh, thanks for that. My Kindle just uh, heard me say brouhaha and then gave me a definition of it. I'm ready to be briefed on the situation, but keep it brief. Oh, right. What do you need to know? I'm going to recommend you for a demotion. Check back with me later on. I may have something more concrete. I should hope so, because your current intel's about as solid as that slurry you call your brain. Hey, Jarvis, there's something on your nose. It's brown and smells like Nix's arse. Oh, ha, ha. Very funny. Why don't you go and take a long walk into the line of fire? Have we made any progress? So far, we've come up short. Nobody's lived long enough to get any information out of them. Can't we just throw some money at this worm fart? You're referring to our we negotiate with terrorists policy. We usually drop track quicker than a sailor on leave in these situations. Well, you know, normally I jump at the chance to hand over a large sum to make this all go away, but the budget's a little pinched at the moment. I thought we had some sort of terrorism slash fund. Ah, uh, yes, about that. I'm afraid this slush fund was eaten into slightly by last year's policeman's ball. Sweet Jeremy tap dancing Christ. A jar of pocket change? Those chocolate fountains don't come cheap. Yeah, give me one second, guys. I just need to change something. Hmm. Where are you? There you are. Just realised I should probably put on here that um. Game has mature content in it. I'm just trying to find the button that I clicked to say mature. Yeah, there is one somewhere. I can't find it anyway. So I guess we're just running without it. Well, what am I meant to do with this? Tempting down to the Palladium for a few goes on the Tutney Nudges? I'm sure you'll use it to the best of your ability. There's a good chap. Thanks, Ben. 
All right, let's give this guy some money. Here is a donation a to what I believe the restoration of an equitable social climate in Clapper's Reef is worth. 22p! Thank you, kind sir. And here's a little something for you. What are these? Clapper's Reef breath mints. Dissolves on your tongue, makes your breath sweet as the song of the clapper finch. Oh, I am never, never eating one of these. Have I helped you? Hey, every little helps. I'm a long way from done. Are you saying you're willing to do more, noble citizen? Oh, depends. What's the minimum I can contribute to consider you helped? Surprisingly little, considering the state of the town, I mean. How much? See, my city-wide renovation plan outlays an entire budget structure. <sighs> oh, let's see, taking into account property values, printing costs, a small PR team, the tanker of ammonia. How much? 25,000. You what? Pounds? It's really very little when you consider all the facts. Where the bleeding hell am I supposed to pull that kind of cash? I've got another donation tin if you like. You expect to raise 25k off the pocket lint of this town full of grunts? You know what they say, from tiny acorns do mighty oak trees grow. They do say that. I went from tiny malformed babies to epic tossers like you grow. I'll be back when I find some funding, or a fairy flaming godmother. I look forward to it. I've gone light-headed. Looks like some hostages are gonna die today. Hmm, what's that? Oh, no idea if this will work, but I'll see if this looks okay. down. Yeah, too low down. An October Reaper as well. I am a monster. It's okay. He would have done the same to me. Right. That leads into the park. Let's go into the park. Let's do this. See what we find there. Have an absolutely super day! Screw you! Right, me! Shakety shakety. No way, ho! That baby ain't mine! Baby. Hey! Them. Where's you going, fat boy? Go catch a bus, short ass. I'm here on business. Yeah, fugly? What kind of business? Because I'm thinking we could make it our business. If we're gonna do business, one of you's gonna have to translate. <laughs> Now, I'd stab you, but I don't want to get your blood all over my new trainers, yeah? Ba -da -da, ba -da -da. Oh, thanks, boys. You've got a bright future ahead. Fizzy, drizzle, turkey twizzles, muzzle fuzzles. What you just say, mate? I was hoping you could tell me. <laughs> Man, what you want? I want some, LOL. Would you young gentlemen kindly relocate to a different part of the public thoroughfare? Faff off, Tobble. This is a public place, LOL. Shove off, you soap dodging little maggots. What you gonna do, chaps? ROTFL. I'll shift you via the tried and tested means of MFTYG. What? My foot to your genitals. Why don't you just FRO? Police, move along, you're causing a public disturbance. I knows my rights, copper, we's going nowhere. Gordon Bennett, he can't tie his shoelaces, but he thinks he's Rumpole of the Flaming Bailey. <laughs> yeah, hey, mates, look at me. I'm Rummy of the What's It. LOL! Hmm. Peace out, my homos. Ha! Think you mean homies, LOL. Do I really? 
Hey, boys. You still looking for a bit of mind-altering tablet-based entertainment? Huh? We don't want nothing from you, copper. You trying to set us up? Go commit your hate crimes somewhere else. Shame. I had a few items from the evidence room I was looking to offload. But you little boys probably couldn't handle it. Whoa, whoa, hold up. What you got? Oh, never mind. Just the latest party experience. Hold up, bruv. Sorry to bother you. I said hold on. Let me see those again. Yeah, mate. I done these before. They called... Uh, they called... Uh, no. No, yeah, yeah, mate. I take no ball at a time. It's wicked. Makes you like all poor <laughs> and that. Hey, I'm not interested in your life story. You want this or not? Yeah, he's interested. Hand them over. Careful, lads. <laughs> Those things are curiously strong. Blow your heads off. Well, clean up your sinuses at the very least. Rip it up, boys. Let's go. Mental, mental, chicken oriental. Nob, nob, we love nob. Oh, nob's nob. Nob's wonderful. Right, now I know why some mammals eat their children. Nob is wonderful. dropped his art supplies. Red, my favourite colour. Swell party. Mind if I shake a leg? I love you, man. Swell party. I love you, man. Nice day for a stroll through a dodgy park. Notice. This is your public park to enjoy at your leisure. Rules are below. Oh, now the pounding's outside of me head. May I borrow your drumstick a moment? Fancy a go? No, I'm going to shove it into my ear for some sweet relief. Move along, scum. Enjoy your day, chum. My ears are numb. rump a pum pum Any requests? You know, Papa's got a brand new bag. I believe I can accommodate that request. You see anything you like? Got anything red? Nope. Maroon? Nope. Crimson? Just what's I, pal. Fine. Just give me that blue one with the G on it. Ah, a G G la G. Excellent choice. Your wife will be over the moon. Don't have a wife. Your girlfriend will not say no the night. Don't have a girlfriend. That'll be 30 quid. And don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Actually, this handbag is about to be used in a covert police operation. Let me introduce myself. D.I. Hector, Clappers Reek Police. Ah, on the house. Have a great day, officer. <laughs> This is almost worse than having to touch that paper clip. Remind me not to put my hand in my pocket. <laughs> Damn, I'm good. Let's go to the clock tower. To fix it. <clears throat> Bigger on the inside. Well, let's get to it. My God, there's a squatter in here. Eh, buckles at the gate. You'll never take me alive, you damn dirty barkers! Oh, who am I kidding? I'm basically dead anyway. Rule number one. Rule number one. I'll need your help to fix this clock. You need my help. You need my help. 
Oh, really, was it? I spent the better part of my life serving Queen and Country, and the worst part in bowels of this damn clock. Nothing but the rats, this training video, and me triple distilled jelly night to keep me company. And nobody comes to do her. Town Council, Preservation Society, punk kids in their wheelie boards. Now, you, they don't want to know nothing except how to fix the flipping clock. Well, bugger all of you. Can't argue with a double barrel shotgun. There's the door. Oh, can't come. Now you're just... A red airbag matches my bloodstained shoes. Well, those things to... Don't even contemplate. Nah. Hmm. Any good war stories, old timer? Ah, you don't want to hear an old man jabber on about war. Okay, fine. It were done. Air dropped into the thick of it, strapped to this very chair. Me and the unit were cut off. Cornered, three Borkos approaching. Had to smear ourselves with our own feces to avoid detection. Uncut down in a ditch. Turned out to be two sisters carrying their gerbil to let. Made mincemeat out of them. Happy <laughs> times. Tell me another war story. It was early morning, February. The big freeze, we called it. No time for imagination back then. Ship had been stuck in the ice for three weeks. Cold. Damn cold. So cold I wasn't able to keep me bearings. I have metallic ones now. <laughs> right bugger going through airport security, I'll bet. You wouldn't believe. What are you watching there? Looks a bit tedious. The late time for safety workplace health and safety guide for clock keepers. Pull up a chair. You don't have another chair. Pipe down, good bits coming up. Woman accidentally walks through shot. You must get bored arseless locked up in here all day. I hey, came Ducky. back from the war with a lot of hate, I did. I can't go outside or the hate comes out in all sorts of ways. In another life, we could have been best friends. Did we just drive past an oil refinery? Well, that'll be me homemade brewery. I put a brew on about an hour ago. Nearly ready. Innocent human lives are depending on this clock. Pa! None of them ever took the time to talk to me, did they? Screw them! You sold them. Pull yourself together, man. I need you to get this clank pile up and run in. What? Eh? Corporal Flaxer? Elite mission? Borkos? Classified? Port bow? Charge? Retreat? Oh, this is gonna be tougher than I thought. Just fix the clock, old man. Bog off, beatnik. Tell me more about the war. Dawn. North Atlantic. We were deep behind enemy lines. Just spotted a large shoal of god off the starboard bow. And then out of nowhere, an Icelandic trawler appeared. It were bearing down on us. No hope of avoiding them, had to engage. Oh, I still get flashbacks. Night times to worst. I can still taste the salted snacks that they offered us during heated negotiations. What war was you in anyway? You what? All of them buckle. So after the war, how'd you end up here, in this clock? Well, tanks, clocks, they're all the same on the inside, really. What's wrong with this clock? Thirty years ago, lightning struck that tower and it hasn't run since. Were you in here when it happened? Yep, fried me cable. Thank 
got for this VCR. Have you tried fixing it? Clappers Leak Preservation Society always banging on at me to fix it. I told him, you try taking a neck cutter to the chest, then see if you feel like fixing the ugly clock. So, now that we're chums, what would it take to get this clock working again? When the lightning hit, it blew the minute hand and the X clear off. What do you need to fix the minute hand? A new one. <laughs> I mean, what's it need to look like? Any bit of metal about six foot long should do it. Bit of ornamentation never hurt either. Tell me more about this X. You know, the bit of clock between the one X and the X1. Oh, the Roman numeral 10, you mean? No, the flippin' X. <laughs> Who's the clock I'm expert a good here? Day. I'm having a good day. Oh, Bunny Bun's just subscribed. Thank you for the subscription. That's it. But those are just superficial. I'm a man of pride. Won't start up until she's polished to a right high shine. Why well, don't I see what I can do? You go find me some parts, and then maybe we'll talk. Mm, does happen. Right, let's go find some parts. Go to the pawn shop. Goes without saying that this bit is not safe for work. Well, well, if it isn't Blind Alley and in front of the pawn shop, no less. By the overwhelming whiff of body odor eaten on a prawn curry, I must be in the presence of Inspector Hector. Back again, are you? <laughs> What's in the bum bag today, you depraved, lecherous perv? Oh, yeah, I noticed no. that. The usual. Yeah, I figured as much. Yep, <laughs> you know it. So just keep people up to speed. Filthy rich. The ub of the Clapper's Reek porn industry. Well, he's not really the scent, but we call him the ub because he's large enough for things to rotate around him. Hey, Rich. Still peddling silicon enhanced pipe dreams to the pathetic local palm jockeys. Hey, a good thing you stopped to buy. You're two payments behind on your Razzle subscription. Uh, oh, right, yeah, uh, thanks for the reminder. Right. Um. So there's a terrorist. Who knows this up? I'm um, trying to. Hey, a VCR. Haven't seen one of those since Meek said here. He's got three demands that I help the Preservation Society, that I fix the clock tower, and that I shut down Exotico. So. I've got some loop. I need to go to the park. To loop up the bishop's staff. My staff is now greased. Swell party. Mind if I shake a leg? I love you, man. Ah, this should appease that crotchety old time lord. Tower. Let's give 
him this staff so he can replace the minute hand. Hey, I brought you this. Yeah, it'll do. Go on upstairs if you like. I'll get to work as soon as my show's done. Still don't mean we're friends though. Ooh, fine. I go up. Let's go upstairs then. I already knew this. Any requests? Papa's got a brand new bag. I knew it! He's not just a talentless prat, he's also a criminal! Yeah, I found that out accidentally. That's why I've got a handbag. Doubt he'll be needing this. I mean, seriously, a drill to fix a clock. Probably has a set of really tidy hammers or something. Something about this place rings a bell. <laughs> right, there'll be a reason why I just got that. All of a sudden, I'm not so thirsty. As you were. Hmm. What if I turn this off? It's giving me a work-related head injury. Or I could just stand over here. Maybe if I leave and then come back in. Yeah, he's going to be busy up there. Right, if I go back in, I should be able to get his tape. Maybe he leaves it on all it's one for the video library. Alright, time to go to Exot Exotico? Erotico. How do I have dropped frames on this game? Jeez. Feeling I need to do this. Hey, Rich, something's wrong with the TV. There's no porn on it. Sweet the mother of baby. Damn, he's fixed the VCR. Hmm. Close one. You're telling me! Let's try to talk to Blind Al. Blind Alley, long time no see. Yes, I have indeed been visually impaired for quite some time now. You've been a regular at Exotico for some time now, haven't you? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> the loyalty card was my idea. <laughs> what if I wanted to get into his office? Sure. Straight through the door behind the counter. Oh, the one blocked by both a steel door and a near spherical pink bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it was easy. You know how to get past the security door behind the counter? A matter of fact, I know the code. You what? Give it to me. Well, well, Blind Alley got something you need, so what can you do for Blind Alley? 
I can slowly remove your extremities until you spell the code with your tongue. I wish I would keep the tongue. <laughs> Blind ally nature favour. I'm bursting for a little companionship. Oh, lovely. Okay, but I draw the line at mouth kissing. Uh, not you! Hell, Hector! Even I have limits! Thank God. Look, just get me something from inside. Something... Mm, mm, tangible. Tangible? What, like one of those orange smelly soaps? Oh, come on, Hector. Get me something a man like me can really... Mm, appreciate, if you know what I mean. Mm, mm. Oh, the things I do in the name of justice. Do something. Let me try and get this. I'd like to purchase the menage à moi, please. The menage à moi? Are you sure you can handle a lady like this? I chabon. Don't insult me. Do you understand what you are in the presence of you? Smooth, a flawless skin, accurate movements. Self in a flight, self a cleaning. Hair where you want it, none where you don't. This ain't no baby's toy hot shot. This is the real thing. How much would you say something like this is worth? Well, I was hoping to get it on credit. Ha! Why don't I put your name down for a free copy of Underpants Digest? Never mind. I'll know where you live. I'll be back for you. Huh. I appear to have a heroin junk in a love doll box. I think I've got to distract Richie and then replace them. Hey, Rich, something's wrong with the TV. There's no porn on it. Sweet the mother of baby. Now you're just being... I'd like to purchase the... The menage a... Don't it? Do you... Smooth... Sir. Hey, oh. this. How much would you? Well, what? Ha. Now's my chance. Right. Okay. So maybe I actually just give it to the blind guy because makes sense, I guess. Yep. I've got you, Sally. Uh, one of them new uh, menage à moi. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is going to be a wonderful afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, for one of you. Yeah, well, why does it smell like the gents toilets? Uh, never mind. <laughs> Just kidding about the door. Oh well, back to plan A then, I guess. <laughs> he used to say, come inside on the doormat, but the cleaning bills were horrendous. <laughs>
I just have to get him first. I recently purchased this sextal, but it didn't completely satisfy me. Let's take a look. Rob the Jeremy's moustache. I can see why. I demand a full refund. Oh, absolutely. I can't give you cash, but I can give you a store credit. Well, how about an exchange? No problem. Are you alright with the display model there? Well, that will be sufficient, thank you. Is it safe to leave there until I can arrange transport? I'll do my best to fend off the depraved, deviant porn rats. You know how to make a customer feel special. There's someone I'd like you to meet. Many happy returns. Do with her what you will. Just don't do it anywhere near me. Oh, Hector. 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 And don't do it while saying my name. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> the door code. Come closer. Sure, if I want to stand that close to you. It's amazing. I have the same combination on my luggage. Thank you, Hector. You've made an old man very happy. And you have made a middle aged man very nauseous. What's even scarier? Guaranteed that'll be gone by tomorrow. Make time. Right, here we go. Make time for safety. Let's switch the tapes. Get upstairs. Hey, Rich, something's wrong with the TV. There's no porn on it. Sweet the mother of Debbie. Now, I just have to type in Blind Alley's code. I oh, should have been able to guess that. Uh oh. Hmm. Well, those things together. It goes nothing. Well, filthy Rich's office. There's got to be something incriminating I can take this place down with. How does he get up here? Well, there's always something hidden behind pictures in places like this. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, it's not really my style, but you do have to admit it's rather distinctive. Man's desk sometimes holds secrets not even he knows about. No. 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 Bollocks. My thorough search turned up nothing. Not even a stash of brandy. An envelope. Hmm? An envelope discreetly placed beneath the leg of his desk. Could it be a blackmail payment from a local politician photographed in a compromising situation? Oh, bollocks. It's a birthday card from his aunt. <laughs> oh, there's got to be something else here. Hmm. A suspicious looking ledger in beneath the chaise lounge. Could it be a second set of books containing a list of payoffs to city officials? A bird watcher's guy propping up the chaise lounge. Better keep looking. Hmm. Thin stack of paper stashed under his phallic carpet. Could it be something illegal? Buggeration. Just something not illegal. Oh, let's keep going. Nice pair. Off matching posters, I mean. 
go on, tear the eggs off. Here's to our health. So, uh, tell me about yourself. I can see the park from here. Those damn kids are still raving on breath mints. See why it's boarded off. Those stairs have more holes than my underpants. Just doesn't even ask why I was in the staff area. Just well, this will shut that clock smith up. It's opened up the delivery hatch to the basement. short in Rich's office, but maybe his basement is a different story. Gotta be something down here that'll give Rich a shakedown. And what is that awful rank? I don't know how Rich stays afloat with his money back. These supports are pretty buggered, and I'm surprised filthy Rich. A heavy voltage cable. I... What in the name of... He really will allow anything to be returned. Dodgy wiring. This socket's hooked up to the mains. I need something. That ought to pack. This ought to produce a good jolt when I'm ready for it. This ought to. This ought to produce. Must be something else I need before I activate that. Would you like to see the cider list? No, <laughs> but this could do with some parmesan. Where'd you get the spaghetti? Nah, <laughs> nothing like found it in the skip out the back. I won't ask about the meatballs. So I just had a look to see what I was missing there. And I need something from the park. Oh, sorry, not from the park, the clock tower. Silly me. Finish the bottle. I need to use that. Fill it with moonshine. That's strong stuff. Even the vapor took the air off me knuckles. Right, I'm gonna head to and deal with the pawn shop first. Oh. 
using it on the wrong thing. That's what it is. Okay, Clocksmith. Let's see yeah, if yeah. stomach is so I need to do. these building supports. Thanks, Cookie. Which better watch where he steps the drives. And here we go. Ready to demolish building. Brings a tear to my eye. Must be the asbestos. If anyone asks, you didn't see anything. <coughs> Those guys really love their porn. Right, so back to the clock tower. Let's uh, sort out the X on the clock. in the arse getting it up that ladder would have been a bigger pain in the ass for me. True enough. X looks good up there. Bit garish perhaps. <laughs> okay. A red airbag. Park again. See if there's anything else. I need to try and get 25 grand for this guy now. Awesome. I told these guys that I was giving them drugs, I gave them breath mints, and then I told them that the drug is no. And now there's chanting that they love no. No, all you gotta do is bring the cash or bring the thing. Do we have a deal? Oh, I gotta go. I think George Michael just walked in. <laughs> Two tiles in the first stall. Talk soon. I've had enough toy. What are you? What are those things? Don't rush me. I'm giving birth to a brick here. I went before. I went before I left. Hmm. I'll leave you to it. Hope everything comes out okay. Hey! Hmm. Guess he finally passed that stone. Right, let's have a look at what details are in the first stall. Yeah, I'd have more commentary on this, but... Here I sit, broken hearted. No, no, that can't be it. Hang on, this looks promising. Bring 25k in small bills to the bush out front of the public toilets. For identification, I'll be sporting a distinctive hairstyle and holding a red designer handbag. Yeah, that explains why you I got want the thing? Bring the cash. Don't be late. Well, that's very descriptive and convenient. Sounds like a good opportunity to make a bit of cash. I just need to. Uh, a distinctive hairstyle and a red handbag. My own mother wouldn't recognise me. Whoa! Oh, I think it smelled better inside. Nothing back there but abandoned smut mags and coach pokers. I can't. Nothing back. Nothing.
close. There this we go. This better work. Oh, I feel a bit stupid. Distinctive hairstyle, red designer handbag. It's in. He better have brought the thing. If he's jerking us around, you know what to do. I brought the cash, you bring the thing. Maybe, did you bring the cash? I just told you I bought the cash. Now where's the thing? I'll show you the thing when I see the cash. Trust me, I brought the cash. Now where's the thing? Maybe you could narrow down exactly what thing you're talking about. You pulling my chain? Well, maybe it's you who's pulling my chain. Yeah? Well, listen, funny man, if I was pulling your chain, you'd know about it. You're right. Sorry. Glad that's cleared up. Now, hand over the thing. Of course I brought the thing. Good. Show me the thing. Let me just grab the thing for you. You telling me the thing's in there? Hmm. Sure it's in here. Look. That ain't the thing. That's one of them little packets of silica gel. Oh, it may look like a packet of silica gel, but actually it's the thing. That ain't the thing. Kimbo, waste this guy and take your time. Hold it there, Kimbo. All right, I'm ready to deal. Listen, Featherhead, you either have the thing or you don't. I'm a very busy man. You tosspot, you don't think I'm stupid enough to bring the thing with me, do you? What are you saying? Where's the thing? Only an idiot would have actually brought the thing. So you're saying you don't have the thing? Think about it, what security do I have? How do I know that once I hand over the thing, your monkey's not going to tear me arms off and pick his fleas with them? Well, I... That's right, I don't. So here's how it's going to play out. You hand over the cash, and then once I know I'm safe, I'll call you with the location of the thing. We clear? That sounds fair to me. Kimbo? I'll be expecting your phone call. You've got one hour. Cross my heart. Just about the dumbest. Ooh, spoke too soon. Hey, Featherhead, what are you trying to pull? Huh? You don't even have my number. Oh, right. It's 028 9042 3983. If I don't answer right away, it means I'm in the car. Might get me by text. Cheerio. I can't believe that worked. Out there, somewhere, there's a guy walking around with a thing. Boy, he's gonna be pissed. Alright, let's give the 25k to the guy. He unfortunately doesn't have the thing. There you go. 25,000 pounds. <gasps> No! Say it isn't true! Oh, believe me, I wish it wasn't. My dream has arrived! I never thought this day would come. The day X just stands out for I a know, brief right? case of cash to a complete bull sniffer. Me neither. Ah, oh, Hector. Imagine what this town could be if there were more people like you living in it. Yeah, imagine. Hey, uh, not to push it, but uh, have you got plans for the rest of that change jar? Hector, you're a true saint. I really wish people would stop saying that. In all the years I've been handing out these badges, finally I know the answer. Who cares about Clapper's Reek? You do, my friend. <laughs> you do. Enough. I've got things to do. Operation Clapper's Cleanup is about to begin. <laughs>
What's the count up to now? Thirty-seven. All right, Christ, Dave. I've done everything on your list. If you let them go now, I can still make the love special at the Broken Arms. Huh? You think that's all? Sounds fixed now, is it? You do a little spring cleaning and we all just go home. Is that it? Oh, here we go. Oh, no, no, no. I have much bigger plans for this town. You were so proficient at completing my first list of demands. I have a whole set of new ones oh. for you. Now write this down. Number four, clean the deck sheet now for the public fountain. Number five, have the foul beds in the centre of town spread out at least three of the Ten Commandments. Number six. Food for the ostriches has arrived. What toppings? Uh, mushroom, sweet corn, pepperoni. I'd like to offer myself in trade for the ostriches. <laughs> I'm testing the pizza as I approach the building slowly and deliberately. It's that picture of George Romero. Nice the puck in the pizza. I feel like I'm about to store in a really bad porno. What in the only living toss? Ball bags. Should have stayed outside with the rest of the imbeciles. <laughs> Looks like this pizza party's over for you. Good people, clappers ring for me service. Thank you for your time. So that was episode one of three. Um, I'm going to be playing episode two tomorrow, Senseless Acts of Justice, because she's coming in fall of 2011. Um, Hector, our badge of courage. Carnage, we negotiate with terrorists. Um, yeah, so I'll be playing it tomorrow at 8 o'clock. So if you want to see the rest of this, feel free. I'll also be posting this playthrough on my YouTube channel. Look at all these people that made this game. Look at those two people that tested it. Uh, yeah, it's a nice little... Did that say Steven Spielberg? I mean, I get... <laughs> Random. Yeah, the, the game's really funny. I, I remember playing it years ago. I was in university. No, I wouldn't have been because it came out after I bloody graduated. But back when I first played it, must have just been after university then. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And, and um, I had no idea that they'd actually brought out the second and third episode. Like, I thought it just got stuck in development hell. And then I found it on Steam and picked them all up. Well, I've been meaning to play the rest of them. So I think after this is all gone through, have we got anything else I can play? Nah. I'm gonna raid somebody then. I know there's only three well, of us. well, look at you, all proud of yourself. You got to the end of my game. Well, bravo. Get yourself over to www.theectorfiles.com forward slash aren't I a clever clogs to get your free gift. It's not a very good free gift as you probably gathered by the word free. Then head down the pub for a pint. You'll have to pay for the pint yourself though. Tosser. What was that? Oh, let me check what that was. Huh. 
Huh. So, um, here's, let me just close Hector. Here is, um, our free gift. As you can see, it's a WordPress site, um, that seems to be in Japanese, Chinese, or Chinese, Chinese? I thought Chinese or Japanese. It looks Japanese. Um, I think, I'm not sure this is right. <laughs> I, I put it in right. <laughs> um, can I translate this? No, I'm not using Chrome. Translate page. Um. Damn. One second. One second. I I'll open Chrome just for this. It's probably a 404 page. Yeah, yeah, it just can't be found. The circle that I liked is typed. There is one coaster system that experiences speed whilst being put on a circle while the body is fixed. And there are also banquets, gliding, horizontal bungee and vertical bungee that enjoy falling, jumping, with less prize placed as much as possible. Yes. Promotion is fun to watch and watch oneself. But since there is only an accident in the product, it is somewhat uneasy, thinking it at it is okay with a voucher. In the past, when I saw the catalogue on TV programmes, I did not think that yen would be taken in. However, if you get used to it in catalogues and punishment games, it may be dangerous. There are times when you are concerned about nails with text entry. Normally a small game is enough, but the nail is getting is incongruous with respect to size. Cannot cut unless it is big bingo. Production is different not only in terms of size and hardness, but also on how the game bends, depending on your fingers. So there is two different nail clippers are required for house. It seems that neither size nor thickness is relevant in relation to the nail clippers of the circle and its variant version. So I think if I can find an affordable item of bingo, I will buy it. Although the product is a daily necessity, there are a few good products surprisingly. Although I go only occasionally once in a while, recently it is mysterious that the yen is hardly fallen on the sandy beach. If you can have banquet tidelands, you can pick up clams and clams, but a beautiful event disappears on a sandy beach with good service from the yen. I accompanied fishing father to the yen, and it accompanied me frequently. Regardless of the elders who are obsessed with production, what I do is picking up novelties and clean stones. I was pleased that I could pick, we could pick up something like a souvenir shop, such as a sombrero, like event, or a thin shell of cherry colour. It seems that the flesh will not be as bad as the water quality gets worse, and if the shells falling in the voucher tickets are small, I think that the sea is dirtier than it looks. An amazing inventory keeps going behind. In the story of an eyewitness, the item seems to be a boy's tw of 20 years or younger, who suddenly pushed the back of the angler in cheese and dropped it into promotion, and some people suddenly dropped silently at another place. They, this, I think that, that somebody sold the site, because um, this is obviously not what it's meant to be. This appears to be some sort of... I don't know. I don't know what it's meant to be. What? What is it? What have you figured out? It's not auto-type on a phone. It's obviously for something. I mean, it's obviously... I, I get a feeling that... He looks like a Japanese guy's gone to the US or something. Premium is high class food. I have no idea what this is meant to be. <laughs> the thing is, the this was 
all written like two months ago. So <laughs> I don't know what it is. Like Okay. I'm confused. More than anything I'm confused. Um I'm gonna try Googling the Hector files and see Oh, here we go. Somebody's got a web archive. <laughs> it was the Who Cares badge. Oh, I'm downloading that. <laughs> I'm going to put that on all my streams now. Oh, what have I done? That's all. Yeah, it's going on my stream. So what's it say at the bottom? Want to give your town that clepper's reek look? Then don't recycle this paper. Throw it out on the street. Anywhere will do. Just not in a bit. I think that I'm going to be using... Actually, yeah. Screw it. That's my new emoji. Uh, my new emoticon. For um, 9.99 subscription. <laughs> I'm totally doing that now. I'm going to sort it out in a minute. Actually, I'm going to do it now. Live on stream. Let's go.